Hi everyone, it's been about 10 months since planting the avocados and it's time for another update. The trees are growing great. It's the middle of May now. They started blooming um, about middle of March, two months ago, and still blooming and small avocados forming. So this is our reed avocado tree. You can see it has flashes of growth which started in the middle of blooming. Lots of tiny avocados are forming. We'll see how many of them will uh, be left at the end. And there are still some um, flower buds which didn't open. Many different pollinators are attracted by the avocado flowers here. We see bees, bumblebees, flies come and pollinate the flowers.
So this year we had uh, two avocados on this reed avocado tree. One of them is still on the tree and getting bigger. The second one just fell a few days ago. We ripened it inside and we will open it up and compare it to a regular Haas avocado. Okay. Alright, so this is a regular store-bought Haas avocado grown in California. Let's see, it weighs about 207 grams. This is our reed avocado. It weighs about 600 grams. Now let's open them up and um, compare. All right, first we'll open the Haas avocado. So we'll compare the weight of the seed later as well. Now let's open the reed avocado. Okay, now we'll take the seed out. The seed is much bigger. So let's compare the weight of the seeds as well. All right, so the Haas avocado seed weighs about 32 grams. And the reed avocado seed weighs about 73 grams. Okay, so now Camila will uh, taste Haas avocado and reed avocado and compare the taste. The reed is much more creamy than the first avocado. It's very nice. Does it taste better? Similar? Uh, it has less of the nut flavor, mm -hmm. but it's more smooth. Okay. All right. I'd say it's pretty good. Thank you. So we have our rabbit caramel came for the testing as well. <laughs> I also planted comfrey around the perimeter of the avocado hill. So you see comfrey is blooming now and there are several uses for comfrey plants here. So first it provides shade with the large leaves and this keeps the soil cooler. The flowers attract pollinators 
And also it's a good chop and drop plant. The leaves can be used as a fertilizer for the avocados. So this specific uh, comfrey variety is called Bokin 14. So the seeds of this comfrey are sterile, so it will only spread by root cuttings. I planted about 10 small 2 inch long root cuttings um, in the beginning of fall last year and they grow very nicely. Alright, so moving on to the next avocado which is lamb Haas. You can see it also forms little avocados. And it also has flashes of growth. This is the biggest little avocado we have so far. So if you remember from my last update, I grafted another avocado variety onto sucker growing from the lamp house rootstock and this is Kona Sharville. Actually the original uh, graft uh, died because I accidentally knocked it off. So I grafted a couple more uh, branches of Kona Sharville and they took. So you see the leaf structure is a little different for the Kona Sharville plant. They're more round than the lamb has. So this is the graft union over here. And this is the second branch graft union. So I'm letting them both grow for now and I will select the branches I want to keep later on. So right now uh, dense branches around the uh, near the ground are actually good to shade the root area as we are getting into the summer now the sun will get stronger. and the low branches will protect the tree from uh, drying out. So you can see that the lamb has variety seems to be more vigorous than reed at this point, but the trees are very uh, young, so that might change soon. So you can see that I cut the lamp house tree 
about one foot from the ground because it was um, not a very strong tree and the entire branch which grew from the cut grew in the fall and now it continues to grow in the spring so no flowers on this new branch yet because it just formed and apparently you need the branch to uh, be there for at least a year to produce flowers so expect lots of flowers on this branch on the whole tree next year the reed tree is about a year older it was um, I bought it as a 15 gallon tree from the nursery and you can see that the trunk of the reed tree is much thicker this year we had two reed avocado trees I expect to have significantly more next year all right that was the update on my avocado hill thank you for watching bye